What's up, guys? Paradox back with more tech support. We're here today to go over what's up with 3.8, 3.9, and 4.2 Essex heads, man. So, from the second you buy the vehicle, you hear everybody say, you know, it's not worth buying an intake. It's not worth buying a throttle. It's not worth upgrading your injectors. It's not really worth upgrading your heads, just the top end, uh, until you port your heads. Oh, well, there's a good reason why they say that. And the reason why is this. The difference between a ported head and a non-ported head on this vehicle means a lot to specifically this area of the head. Um, so when you buy the vehicle and you would strip and buy and uh, pull the head off the, um, the engine, you're going to have this look to it. And what's going on is, is this is a stripped head from a Ford Freestar. Um, and when you look at this rim around that, where you, when you pull the exhaust manifold off, um, there's heavy blowback on this. And the reason why is, is because the exhaust manifold gasket goes all the way out to this ring around the edge. So you actually see almost like an x-ray 3D vision of where the exhaust manifold gaskets are on these right here. Um, what's cool is, is when you pull it off, that ring is stamped on there. And so when you're porting them, you're actually able to use that as a 100% contact point, And it's super simple to do. Um, so porting these guys out does take quite a while. I want to say that these are probably three hours uh, port. Um, a piece. So this is took a while. Um, but when you have the original head, you see the restriction for the first time and come to understand why, because, you know, after I've, you know, done these by diameter, you'll come to see that, uh, five unported ports equals three port or ported ports. So it's going to take five of those to equal three of these in flow. Um, so or in volume technically. So when, you come to look at the ports and you understand now what's going on and why they're going to call this a restriction uh, in general. Um, the big difference is that port job. And the fact of the matter is this is the exhaust manifold side of the head. This is the front side of the head or the um, top end. And I usually only on the head, I'll open these up because I consider it down the valley. So like I'll open these up so that when the, Lower intake manifold is sitting on here and it's coming down to this. It's not going to hit a ridge on this, but when the lower intake manifold at the bottom, I wouldn't port that because it's up the valley. You know what I mean? So when it's going in, it's actually going to make a nice shoot down into this one and you can save your time not having to port the bottom of the intake manifold if you kind of just port the lip off of this real good on all of them uh, to make sure that the air flows perfect down the valley without hitting ridges. So... <clears throat> With the intake manifold side, there is a good amount of volume because we have split port. You're going to recognize that, you know, well, we have that much exhaust flow, but we have this much inflow. You know, that's almost double. So when you come to look at the port job now, you understand why. So it actually is giving the intake airflow the ability to hit the exhaust um, in the same amount of port flow um, with a nice camshaft. So if you put like a really nice camshaft with good lift and duration on there, uh, out of just not even having to port really the intake side other than, you know, down the valley, um, and then a nice uh, exhaust port job, you can make substantial amount more power off the same um, modifications you've already done. So when you would get a engine and you would do this to it, I want to tell you that you're probably looking at roughly at 25% overall um, natural performance increase to your engine. So this is um, right when you get the engine, if you were to say 200 horsepower, you're going to be looking at about 50 just from a full port job and um, a camshaft. So when you do that with your engine, then at the same time, all your bolt-ons are going to be looking at, you know, really hitting, you know what I mean? So um, all the bolt-ons on the top end that the guys like doing because it's so easy to do without pulling the engine out, but you're not, you know, getting a no... Uh, your engine in front of you, um, you come to see why. So then the main number thing is that, you know, the exhaust restriction. So now that I've explained exhaust restriction, what it is and its uh, potential capabilities, um, this is also what goes on and why it kills engines. So on this one, you're going to see once again that, you know, the exhaust port is right here. And then on the intake side of the head that's over here, it comes in real good. Um, but there's a few different places that have... Um, no coolant um, flow through um, on the head. So when you see this right here, um, you're going to notice that there's only a hole, you know, here, 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 
here and here on the outside lip, but you, you know the rims and edges have two and two. If you see four sixes or four valves or LS engines, um, you're going to notice that they have full flowing heads. So there's going to be another port, you know, right here, right here, you know, right here and right here, so that your head has the ability to flow it in and out. Now, what sucks about that is specifically with uh, things like the M112 swap, um, people do that supercharger and it's kind of dumb. I guess it's, you know, it's cool if you want to blow up your engine within two summers. But um, other than that, um, if they don't port your exhaust manifold side of your head, that lip right here is going to get hot. So from that blowback from the engine and the piston cylinder having, you know, it's, uh, uh, com intake compression power and exhaust that blowback is going to hit that engine cylinder and make it hot so when this doesn't have the ability to flow here this is going to get really hot on this lip you know what i mean like just from right there to right there that's literally directly above it so when people are talking about right around 175,000 miles, every single V6 Mustangs having um, head gasket issues, that's why. That's actually why. It's from you know the run cycles of the engine hitting the life of this area, this area, this area, this area. You know, and anybody who's ever actually seen their heads when they take them off can pretty much verify. You know, that's where they're coming through because I've looked at them. Um, so when you see the differences and you know why to port your heads now. The upper intake modifications, things like throttle bodies, uh, specifically, uh, and, um, intake manifolds, they're remedial. You know what I mean? You're not getting much out of them. Um, there's really no point to it other than buying something somebody's trying to sell you until you port the heads. So, but once you port your heads, this is going to give you a nice free fl flowing engine and really kind of prolong the inevitable head failure, the head gasket failure that will come from that lip right there. Uh, either right there, you know, right there or right there is literally that's right on the inside of the exhaust port from that blowback heating up this aluminum so hot. So let's turn the aluminum from frying your head gaskets into a performance mod of nice aluminum heads. And um, I just want to thank you guys for tuning in. This is really just the introduction and basics to show you, uh, you know, the vulnerabilities and how to try to bulletproof your heads by porting your exhaust manifold um, side of your heads. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in and tune in for the next set of these videos where we kind of go over other pieces of the heads, like show you which heads are superior and why. Have a great night, guys. Thanks for choosing the tech support.